Hello, <coughs> excuse me. That's another uh, another kit review for you. This time it's the Italeri or Italeri, whichever way you pronounce it. I don't never know exactly what it should be said like. Gulfour Anniversary Edition Tornado GR1. And I think the box art on this is terrific. I mean, if it wasn't for this band in there, I could take that off and use it as a little poster, but uh, I won't. <laughs> Uh, okay, so it's a uh, side box, side opening box, so I'll put that aside um, for now. On the back you've got the four options you've got for this uh, kit. Some good uh, examples of the RAF tornadoes that flew during the Gulf War. Um, now I'll put that aside because we don't need to have that box anymore. Instructions themselves. Um, nice black and white version of what you get in the box. Uh, it's a shame they couldn't have upgraded it to a colour version like they have it in Airfix, but uh, it does the job of pointing where the colours are, and in this case it's desert pink and black. Really. Uh, it's one of the strange things I found with this uh, instructions is that when it comes to putting the <coughs> holes to put the pylons for the ordnance. They suggest that you heat up a screwdriver and uh, enlarge the holes as, it, as they put it by melting the plastic itself. Now I would never want to do that because that seems such a dangerous, well both because it's hot and because you're bound to make a mistake. I don't understand why they don't say they could drill a hole because the, the, the heated screwdriver is just as likely to make it all melt away and you'd have a right mess. But uh, and likewise, you have to make holes, holes to uh, put some of the aerials on the, on the uh, back of the aircraft, and I suggest using the point of a scissors. I mean, <laughs> that's not gonna, that's pro, that's begging to be. Uh, have an accident with the uh, scissors just slip and you know it will make a hole bigger than it needs to be. So I advise anybody who makes models to invest in a little pin vise uh, for putting um, uh, tiny drill bits to make holes. Or do what we used to do in the old days: you use a, a, a compass to just push a hole through. But I wouldn't use a heated screwdriver or a scissors for making holes in. Uh, kits. There's a couple of options uh, for the ordnance and they include what looks in the kit to be a, what would have been a JP232 uh, uh, pod but they say not to use it in this case. Uh, I guess the examples they got didn't. I'll put that aside, you don't need that now. Plastic itself. As they always say, do the, the uh, drop test to see how hard it feels. It's, it's quite hard plastic. It's not hard hard, but it's not soft. I wouldn't describe it as soft. Uh, the general quality moulding, Italeri, Italeri. Recessed panel lines, which is good for, as you'd expect these days, quite modern. Um, there's one or two, when I looked at it earlier, there's one or two things I'm disappointed with as far as, I always find the seats are the wrong shape on many kits, when it comes to ejector seats on, on jets, I can't actually see them at the moment, don't know why, I can't see for looking as they say, the phrase goes. Um, you've got good moulding for the... Uh, Recess moulding for the wheel wells, and we've got one or two for the tanks, fuel tanks, and some ordnance. You've got bombs, uh, you've got various pods. I can't remember exactly what they are. Oh, there we are. There's your ejector seats, but the, the head rest always seems to be too slim, so I might have to do a bit of work on that. Um, everything else looks in order and quite a good quality moulding. There's no flash that I can see. 
and if there was it just might be a matter of just scraping it off not a big deal uh, the way the top and the bottom go together is very similar to how the old AFX kits were um, but there's some good moulding for the where did I see it I can't see again I can't see for looking there's uh, control panels I saw here somewhere I'm wasting time looking at this now but uh, there's good control panels on it as far as I remember you know you can't see things when you're looking and you want to find things does it where am I? this is a tail two part tail anyway I won't waste time looking for that you've probably seen it yourself and I couldn't notice it but uh, two sprues for the for the main body for the kit the canopy is quite clear but there's there's a detonation cord uh, marking you can't see it on you it's t I can't zoom for you sorry but there's a zigzag uh, detonation cord now unlike the Hawk kit that AFX has the actual detail isn't recessed so you can't just paint it over and wipe it past and get the and highlight the detonation cord so that's a bit of a shame that they didn't do it that way but uh, it's it's proud of the inside if you know what I mean it's not uh, can, you, can you see the long reflection can't really can you no in the shadow anyway believe me there's a there's a line through the middle I thought it was a, a sprue problem but it's, it's actually supposed to be there but the rest of the uh, canopy is quite well molded so I'm pleased with that uh, what I'm not pleased with, in a way, oh, and, but it's something I can work around with, is the decals. You've got this strange... Now, these patches are for where the gun ports are. And they're even included in the decals for the uh, special paint scheme. But they're gold, and they're supposed to be gun metal. Now, unless they've got really fancy guns made of gold, it's not, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not gun metal. That's gold for anybody. Anybody can say that. That's the colour of that is gold. But I can use it for a uh, an idea of the shape. And what I'll probably do is use it as a mask and scrape off the decal afterwards. But uh, and the decals for a little bit, a little bit thicker than I'd like them to be. But uh, they're probably not standard because they're Gulf War swarms, Gulf War scheme. So they're probably a limited run decals, the printer. But apart from that, for a uh, kit, I think it must be a five year old kit because it's the 25th anniversary of the Gulf War. So that's about uh, five or six, uh, four or five years ago. Uh, not a bad kit, uh, better than the uh, Epix one used to be because of the recessed panel lines. Um, and when I can afford to uh, get some desert pink, I'll uh, I might think about making that one day next year. So there we are. That's all.